good this is black authentic truth man and what this video is about is about the foolishness that we do every day in the black community like there's so many things that are wrong with the black community but i want to focus on you know when we want to remember our loved ones and our friends and family that have passed away or are they locked up and we want to say you know i wish you was here i wish you were still here or free my nigga Jay, or free my nigga, you know what I'm saying? That thing, right? When they were alive, though, you didn't warn them. When they was alive, you didn't tell them like, hey, man, you need to slow down. You need to pump your brakes. This happens a lot in our community where you see people ride with their loved ones and their friends and family while they doing all kind of hell, tearing up the city. Then when something happens to them, when they get lose their life to violence or something like that then now you want to talk about how you miss them you wish they was here today r.i.p you got your wings or whatnot and don't get me wrong and i'm not trying to be disrespectful but the fact remains is that in our community we big up a lot of foolishness we big up a lot of crazy dumb shit and when everything hits the fan then we say I wish you was here when you could have you could have been that person that could have changed the trajectory of your loved one's life and that's something that we gotta we gotta accept that in our community right because we hang on all of the demon time and the evil stuff we like to do that we think it's fun we think it's cool we think it's you know that's what life is supposed to be until someone loses their life and now there's brothers that are alive today that's in their 40s 50s 60s that they wouldn't been here if it wasn't for somebody telling them hey you need to pump your brakes like a, a loved one uh you know a significant other a family friend or whatever saying listen you need to you know right now it's too crazy it's too hot right now you need to go somewhere else and just just start over just start over because the role you going down right now it ain't gonna end well like we all needed people like that in our life the problem is in our community we are the opposite with one another it's like this if you really love somebody right in your right state of mind you're going to tell them listen don't do that we gotta we gotta we gotta do something else but whatever we do you can't do that no more you got to get out of this lifestyle you got to change when you love somebody you're going to want for them to change right when you love someone and you know that there's danger around the corner you're going to stop them you're going to pull them and say nah come on we're going to go the other way don't go that way when you love someone right so what what really is it when you're with somebody and you're enjoying the demon time when you're with somebody and you're doing all of this foolishness and it's all fun and giggles right and you know you're doing wrong you know they wrong but you're still riding with them do you really love them now hey some people will just say you know what we got to learn sometime and i know a lot of us even in our older age in our community be young-minded right we don't see the error of our ways until something it may, it may take more than one thing to happen i was gonna say until something happened but it may take more than one thing to happen but we don't see the error of our ways like we have to understand man that we got to look out for one another so that it don't be a time when you saying r.i.p i wish you was here or you say free my nigga get let my nigga out you wasn't saying that when he was shooting up the block right you wasn't thinking about that when he was shooting up the block you wasn't thinking about the repercussions when he was selling drugs and he was hurting people. You wasn't thinking about that when you was running with him and he was doing robberies. You wasn't thinking about telling him, pump your brakes, slow down. This ain't life. Eventually, it's going to all fall down. You wasn't thinking about saying none of that. But now you want to say, free my nigga Jay, right? As a woman, now you want to say, free my nigga. Well, you, were, you knew what he was doing. And as a woman, a woman got a lot of power. You have more power than you even know and you can make a man change 
his whole mind on doing something. You can make a man change his life from the negative to the positive. But a lot of y'all sisters won't do that. You like a you know a nigga that's doing all the things in the streets. You know what I mean? I are I, I understand it. But this is to bring it home. This video is to bring it home for black people, brown people, everybody in our community that you can't be on that type of time with your loved ones and your family members and your friends that you say you care about and you never tell them that they wrong. You never try to correct them. That's real love. Real love is showing you that it's showing you a better way. Real love ain't riding with you when you want to go shoot at some niggas. That's not real love, right? A lot of people like to see you destroy yourself. Then they cry when you gone. Then they cry when you locked up. So as a community, we got to do better, man. So let me know what you think about this video. Give me your thoughts and your opinions in the comments. And with that, you already know what time it is. Black Authentic Truth.